what's up what's going on how y'all doing how y'all feeling let's get down to this situation but please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video y'all so let's get into this situation let's talk about earth Gotti, and he recently did an interview with drink champs and he had a whole lot of things to say about ashante which wasn't nice and also it was like why are you bringing a girl up why are you talking about the girl the girl ain't even thinking about you i know she doesn't want to work with you no more you shocked you devastated but it's been 20 years and you can see when it comes to earth Gotti, he has not gotten over the situation he's still crushed inside because ain't nobody ever crushed him like that and also he had like a dream he romanticized Ashanti and what they had going on and if you guys know back in that time you know 50 Cent was basically saying Ja Rule and Irv was on that E a lot and he did mention being on E a lot in the interview with Nori so he basically probably be could remembering the situation totally different from the way that Ashanti remembers it because they were tripping y'all okay but in any event Irv Gotti was kind of weird in the situation. He wanted everybody to know, especially Nori, that he wore a Shanti watch that she gave to him years ago, 20 years ago. And he wanted to let everybody know that Ashanti brought him this watch and she actually engraved the watch too as well and he wanted everybody to know what was on the watch so he couldn't read it Jaru couldn't read it with his sunglasses so Jaru went and got some glasses so he can actually read what was inscribed in the watch and it says memory changes lives forever love Ashanti and it was just like he was just so enthralled in the situation like i ain't never seen nobody act like this other than you know vivica fox like what's going on in any event he also bragged about having a 250 million dollar deal but basically with that deal he's bringing his catalog into the deal and that's including ashanti catalog which ashanti has no access to and he won't give back to her and that's it and you know ashanti has been asking to get her masters back and she was doing music with her ad libs of songs that she made in the past with Earth Gotti. And Earth Gotti said that she better create something new. She better do something new because she can't use none of that. And she has to mix it in a certain way. So she got to get the best people around her. The people that she got around her are not that great because they can't create what we created. Basically, you know, throwing shots at Ashanti and, you know, her team that she has now. And, and basically insinuating he was the best team that she ever had, okay? because she wants her masters and she's not going to get it and if she wants if she wants to go back to her old sound or do anything from back in the day that he did with her she better you know create it some type of way and any events you know Irv Gotti basically talks about how he created, you know, the song Happy with Ashanti and, you know, they was intimate and then after they was intimate, he got in the shower and he was so happy and he was so filled with love and joy and everything of that nature that he came up with the song. He called people immediately, got the beat popping, called Ashanti into the studio and they made the song and he said he was inspired by love. He was inspired by sex and basically he knows Ashanti doesn't want to be considered you know any of them fast type of women you know that's not her style or that's not her style but in any event he's trying to you know put her personal business out there when ashanti never puts her personal business out there and it's also trying to shame her it's almost like you know revenge porn and in a sort of type of way because he knows it's hurting her or he's trying to hurt her he's trying to get under her skin you know but also we got to keep in mind that earth Gotti has a document coming out on BE and BET contacted Ashanti and her team and they asked her what should be a part of it so she can tell her side and she said no so he's very upset about that because he wants to hear what she has to say because you know she left him hanging and dry once she said goodbye and I'm no longer with Murder Inc she didn't turn back and look she just kept going she was not turning into a pillar of salt okay so he feels a certain type of way because I believe he always walked out on the woman and now she walked 
walked out on him and he really loved her, you know, but I don't know if he really loved her because he was under the influence of a lot of different things. But in any event, mind you, he had a wife this whole time disregarded his marriage and trying to do and how he tried to make her look like she was this miserable, mean person, but she was dealing with a monster the whole time. Okay. So moving on from that situation. Irv Gotti had a lot to say and also he said F Ashanti I don't I didn't F up she messed up and he basically said he don't care about how good Ashanti looks or how sexy she is you know she's just a regular chick and also if you look at his Instagram the girls on his Instagram will be crushing Ashanti because he was asked the question about don't how do you think of what do you think about Ashanti what do you think about how she looks because she be looking bad on Instagram that's what Nori asked you know um Irv and he basically said my chicks were smashing when you know a person you know a person you know who they are so they're not just they're not as bad as you think they are because you know who they are and my little 20 year old girls my 19 year old girls they'll be smashing and crushing the Shanti and looks but baby they ain't got you in your feelings like you were in your feelings and you know that's you're telling the story about Ashanti, he's basically saying, please go watch the documentary on BET because he's going to further expand on how he basically, his relationship with Ashanti and how it transpired and how it ended, basically trying to make a corn off the girl. And he's already got her masters. And so he's still trying to make a corn off her. Then at the same time, trying to shame her. In any event, Irv Gotti was very upset. He said that she needs to tell her side of the story. She needs to speak her mind. You know, BET contacted her. And I don't know why she doesn't want to do the Murder, Inc. documentary. Because she needs to tell her side of the story. She needs to tell what happened and what went on and how they broke up. And things of that nature. And he feels like Ashanti is never going to... To, you know tell her side of the story because she feels like she has something to do where Irv Gotti's divorce and Irv Gotti said she had nothing to do with my divorce nothing at all I was dating three other bees and they are the ones that are responsible for my divorce when I got with Ashanti me and Ange was over I had moved out the house already so she don't have to be embarrassed and she don't have to feel like people will call her a homewrecker or marry a uh, messing with a married man so she can come out she can speak her side she she can get the floor and then he also describes Ashanti is not responsible for my family you know uh, falling apart and he said basically Ashanti might feel that people think that she might have slept her way to the top to get to where she's at at that time back then when they were hot and Murder Inc was popping and he basically says no Ashanti didn't sleep with me for her deal she worked hard she already was signed to two other labels and they didn't know what to do with her so they brought her over to me and I told her to just to hang out at the studio and she hung out at the studio for a long period of time picking up things learning things and then we just called her in one day and she got on a track and she was amazing so she earned her spot so she don't have to feel bad about telling people that we was in a relationship because we can combat all the negative things that people might say about her so basically he just wants Ashanti to claim him he want Ashanti to claim him and make some money with him again because he said it's nothing like being with a woman that you can make millions and millions of dollars with just waking up in the morning together or finishing making love you know she was just it she was just the thing like I, I never woke up with a woman that I turn around and I can make millions of dollars off of and we can make millions of dollars together and create that ain't never happened again you know so basically he's feeling like this is just this was the ill, the illest relationship he, and basically putting her on that pedestal as princess, which she is, and you know, he, she knew he was married, and that's the reason why the, she does not want to speak up on the situation, but Irv is basically saying when they got together, he had already moved out the house, but people are not going to see it that way, and that could be a career killer, look at Portia Williams, to basically admit that she was messing with a married man, and he had children, and you broke up the home, and people 
people are not going to think about the other three ladies that Irv is talking about. They're going to think about Ashanti because they know who Ashanti is. So in any event, he was ripping and raving about her basically speaking her side. And he wants to hear it and he wants to know it. And he can't believe that Ashanti turns her back on him. And, you know, especially when the feds came. And that's when Nori and Jaru was like, she was like 21 years old. You know, she probably thought that she was going away forever. She probably thought that she was going to be doing life in prison. Prison. you know she didn't sign up for no prison stunt she didn't sign up for jail time and then that's when you know um Irv Gotti basically said that oh yeah everybody told her I was probably gonna do a lot of time in jail and you know her people close to her basically you know Irv is talking about her mother because her mother is her manager um told her that oh this is good for you Irv, Irv is going to jail and Blase the third so you can move on you can start fresh and you can create your own this and your own that so he basically feels like Ashanti team swooped her and scared her and put fear in her to basically Basically, you know, break up with him and not work with Murder Inc. anymore because that was going to add disdain to her to her brand. And he's feeling salty about that situation. And he basically states, look at me, not guilty, B, not guilty to Ashanti's team. Like, he was mad, like, for real, because he feels like, you know, that relationship with him and Ashanti, you know, separating. I don't think that he feels like he can create music like that again because has he created music like that that he created with ashanti again i don't think so so you know he's still living in the past and he's still thinking he's 17 18 and that young life and all that other stuff is cool hanging out with 18 year olds 19 year olds 20 year olds young women and doing and we just running wild you know what i mean he's still doing that at this age but i believe he feels if ashanti would have stuck with him that wouldn't have happened but who's to say he wasn't going to dog Ashanti out just in? So in any event, we got that situation popping off. And he is really upset. Like, he's he's mad. And, you know, um, he basically says that he made Ashanti. He didn't have to put Ashanti on music. Um, he didn't have to do anything for Ashanti. He created her sound. He called her the princess. You know, um, he did everything for her, for her to turn her back on him and, you know, basically walk away and then actually hooking up with Nelly. That really is despicable. And how can you turn your back on family? How can you do that? But if you, your, your wife was your family and you dogging your wife out like that, she didn't want no parts of that anymore. And plus, she probably thought that she was going to go to jail jail too as well just like j-lo left p diddy okay but in any event um when it comes to irv he basically feels that ashanti owes him and she owes ja rule because ja rule could have got anybody you know to be on a song with him he could have got j-lo he could have got anybody any artist that was popping back then and that time because he was the number one rap artist and so they did ashanti a favor if it wasn't for ja Ru allowing ashanti to be on the track if it wasn't for irv Gotti basically telling ashanti what to write and also advocating for her to be on tracks and things of that nature we wouldn't even know who she is like he is really he's hurt he's he, he he's he he is he's butt hurt out here in these streets y'all so in any event i mean he's just out here doing way too much at his age talking about this relationship when a girl she wants her masters she ain't gonna give her you ain't gonna give her her masters so what's the point you know what i mean so it basically is to shame her to make her look bad so y'all tell me. And then, you know, he was really hurt when it came down to the situation. He said he was with Ashanti, you know, for like two years straight until he turned on the TV. And he seen that Ashanti showed up to the NBA game with Nelly. And then she was in the back of his Maybach. And she said she's not doing this anymore. And she's no longer down with Murder, Inc. And, you know, Irv basically says... 
He could have held her to contract. He could have made her complete her whole contract and drop music and things of that nature. He said he was a nice guy because he just let her go. So he's really hurt. He's really heartbroken. Basically, he's trying to say that she's not hot. She's not popping. She's not prettier than the women that he is with and things of that nature. And talking about their sex life. It's just like, Lord, baby, get a life.